Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Arcadia High School. Todd Garbison for Southwest Sports Network. It's play-by-play -play coverage of Saguaro Sabercats varsity baseball. And the Sabercats on the road to uh, take on the Arcadia Titans. And we're underway here in the top of the first inning as Zach Gibbons leads off for Saguaro. Sabercats coming at 21 and 7 overall, Arcadia at 19 and 6. And the Sabercats 12 and 4 in power point ball games as the first pitch missed for a ball, the next one over for a strike and it's 1 and 1. And now swing and a miss and the count goes to a ball and two strikes on Zach Gibbons, who leads off for the Sabercats. He starts in center field. Chris Ackman will bat second and play right field. Reed Austin at first base bats third. Matt Morris, the shortstop, is fourth as that ball is sent uh, out to right field on a line but caught on the run. And uh, the leadoff hitter is retired for Saguaro in the top of the first inning. Drew Butler gets the start today for the Arcadia Titans as Chris Ackman is in the box and ready to go. On, and the first one foul to the screen. And that is strike one. So we got to, to Austin, Matt Morris, I believe. Uh, I don't know if I said that or not, actually. <laughs> Matt Morris bats fourth at shortstop. John Nimps at third bats fifth. Dakota Ristad. The left fielder is sixth, and there's a fly ball to left field. That one hit well, and looking up the left fielder, that one's gone. A solo home run for Chris Ackman. And the Sabercats get a run in the top of the first inning for Ackman, his third home run of the season, RBI number 28. And it puts Saguaro on the board in the top of the first inning, a solo home run from Chris Ackman. Now Reed Austin with a ground ball over to third. That's uh, bobbled there and a throw to first base. Gets away, but Austin will stay there in E5. And that'll bring up Matt Morris. So again, to get through the uh, Sabercat lineup, Gibbons leads off, Ackman second, Austin third, Morris fourth, John Nims the third baseman fifth, Dakota Ristad in left is sixth, Turner Lace the second baseman is seventh, Brandon Allen DHs today and bats eighth. Has a pitch over for a strike and a throw to first, not in time. And uh, Allen, I mentioned the DH batting for Saguaro starting pitcher Allen Manson and Shane Stansbury rounds out the Sabercat order. He bats ninth and he works behind the plate today for Saguaro. There's a pitch up and in for a ball, and it's one and one. Drew Butler, the starting pitcher for Arcadia, and he is pitching to Max Schumann. Now the one one pitch. And a ground ball hit sharply out to short, out at second, and the throw on to first base. And that is in time, and it's double play to end the inning. But Sabercats are on the board. A solo home run from Chris Ackman after a half. Sabercats one, Arcadia coming up. Now Arcadia will go to work in the bottom of the first inning as Brennan Satran leads off. Satran, the center fielder. Max Schumann will bat second and catch. Kayla McKinnon at second base is the number three hitter. Drew Butler, the pitcher, bats fourth. And the first pitch high and outside for ball one. Michael Roberts, the shortstop, is in the five hole for Arcadia. Michael Scannell at first base bats six. Preston McLean, the third baseman, is seventh. As that one is... Foul to the backstop, and it's one and one. Gary Cornish is the right fielder. He bats eighth for the Titans, and Alex Reynolds in left field bats ninth. Now the one-one pitch. The breaking ball fouled off, and the count's one and two. Alan Madsen starts this afternoon for the Sabercats, and he has had the Titans a number over the last uh, two seasons. And a swing and a miss. And Satran strikes out for the first down in the Arcadia first inning. 
And the batter is Max Schumann. And the defense for Sawaro. Ristad in left, Gibbons in center, and Chris Ackman in right. Dems at third, Morris at short. That's the first one is high for a ball. Turner Lease at second, Reed Austin at first. And Shane Stansbury catching for Alan Madsen. The 1 0 pitch. Popped up. First base side. Soft pop up there. And Reed Austin reaches up and has it. And that is out number two. So, two away in the inning for Caleb McKinnon. First one to McKinnon misses for a ball. Batson working quickly with the bases empty and that pitch grounded foul on the third base side. It's one and one. Two outs, bases empty, bottom of the first. Sawara leading Arcadia one to nothing as the Sabercats is trying to stay in the uh, top batch of teams in Division II baseball as that one's uh, lined right back up the middle and into center field. A two-out base hit from McKinnon. That'll bring up Drew Butler. Pitcher number 18, Drew Butler. So Warren will try to maintain their spot and uh, kind of depending on the day and depending on the scores reported. Seen some uh, a different numbers. Saguaro has been around the number four spot as the first one to Butler is over the outside corner for a strike. Sabercats have been really as high as two and down to about six or seven over the last few days. And a swing and a miss. And it's 0 oh and 2. And again, that's based on games being played around the state in Division II baseball, but also on some uh, kind of slow reporting score sometimes. The two strike pitch fouled away by Butler. McKinnon a threat to run for sure at first base, 17 steals and 19 tries. He's not uh, trying to go here against the left-hander Madsen. The 0-2 and a breaking ball swung on and missed and a strikeout ends the inning. Two strikeouts in the first for Madsen and Arcadia does not score. After one inning of play, so we're a one Arcadia enough. John Nimps starts things off for the Sabercats. And he takes the first pitch low for ball one. And sort of a half swing and a punch into right field. They'll throw to first base, but Nims gets down the line and gets a leadoff base hit for the Sabercats in the second inning, and that'll bring up Dakota Ristak. Ristad puts the bunt down and a nice bunt as it dies going up the first base line and out at first base is the call. So Butler gets off the mound in a hurry. A 1-3 sacrifice is the first out of the inning as Nimps goes to second and the batter will be Turner Lace. First one to Lace bounced in for ball one. I don't think I got through the defense for Arcadia in the first inning. Reynolds in left field. Satran in center, Cornish in right. McLean at third, Roberts at short. McKinnon at second, and Scannell at first base. Schumann catching Butler. Ground ball foul. And the count goes to one and one. Top of the second inning, one nothing. Saguaro, Sabercats with a run. 
on a solo home run from Chris Hackman. His third of the season. Now look back to second base, the 1-1 pitch. Hit uh, slowly over the left side, picked up by McLean. He'll throw across to first base, and that is in time. Taking third base on the play is Nimps. A 5-3 ground out moves the runner to third, and now the batter is Brandon Allen. First one to Allen, up and in for ball one. And the 1-0 pitch. Yeah, just, uh, nope, that is at the knees. Thought it might have been a little bit low, but at the knees for a strike, and it's one and one. Ball over for a strike. And the count goes to one ball and two strikes. Drew Butler unbeaten on the mound for Arcadia this year, 4 0 on the season. And the 1 2 misses outside. Two balls and two strikes. Now the wind and the 2 2. And a fly ball out to center field. Satran there, though, on the run, makes the catch in the side. He is retired. Sabercats turned away after a leadoff hit here in the second. After an inning and a half, it's still Sawaro one and Arcadia nothing. Michael Roberts, the leadoff hitter. In the second inning for Arcadia, and a swing and a miss for a strike. The 0-1. And a line shot out to left field, and that's down for a base hit up against the fence. And uh, getting the ball back in quickly. That's a good hustle play out there for Ristad. And typically, you see a ball go to the fence in the outfield. You're going to get a double out of it, but... Again, hustling on the play to get the ball back in wrist at, and Robert stops at first base. It's a leadoff base hit for Arcadia, and it brings up Michael Scannell. Scannell shows bunt, hits it hard, and they're going to go with the out at second on to first base, and a double play. Well, you don't see that on a bunt. But uh, the Sabercats get to it. Nips quickly throws it to second base, and in the quick turnout there on to first, and that's a double play. Third baseman number eight, Preston McLean. And a five-six-three double play. You don't see that one very often. And now the better Preston McLean with the bases empty and two outs. First one a ball, the second one high for a ball, and it's 2-0, and oh, and that'll send Stansbury out to talk to Madsen. Back to the one of the 2-0 pitch. And that's over for a strike. It's 2-1. and one. Uh, swing and a miss. So Manson, after falling behind 2-0, and oh, comes back with a couple of strikes. The count even at 2-2. Two two. two outs and the base is empty in the bottom of the second. 1-0 Sabercats. And the 2-2 pitch. And a breaking ball. That one's off the end of the bat and fouled off on the right side. And the 
two two and another foul ball. Popped up and out of play. Three different two strike pitches fouled off by Preston McLean here in the bottom of the second. Pitch outside, trying to get him to chase. Now the count goes to three and two. If McLean reaches, Gary Cornish will bat here in the second for Arcadia. And the three two. And a fly ball. This is out to right field. Chris Ackman, a couple of steps to his right, makes the catch. And the side is retired. No runs and a base hit for Arcadia after two from Arcadia High School. It's Saguaro one and Arcadia nothing. Shane Stansbury, the leadoff hitter in the top of the third inning. And the first pitch, a little bit low for ball one. For the Sabercats, catcher number 19, Shane Stansbury. Now the wind and the 1-0 pitch. And that one fouled to the backstop, and it's 1-1. One one. Stansbury, Gibbons, and Ackman for Saguaro here in the third inning. Next pitch bounced in there, and it's two balls and a strike. And just one more game after this one for Saguaro. There's a line shot. That's out to, into center field, and that's down. It goes up to the fence, and Stansbury will pull into second base with a leadoff double. Nick Lagusis will run at second base for the Sabercats. Saguaro will finish up their regular season on the road at Fountain Hills next week. Center fielder, number three, Zach Gibbons. Back to the top of the order for Zach Gibbons, who came in batting 473, nine doubles, three triples, a homer, and 24 RBI. Lined out to... Cornish in right field his first time up, going after the first pitch here, and it's a fly ball to right. And Cornish under it with the catch. Lagusis will tag and try for third base, and he is there. Like uh, Arcadia may go back to second base to right appeal. Number 24, Chris Acton. And the runner is going to be called out at third base. They don't have to appeal as far as throwing the ball back to the bag. They can just ask on the appeal. And so they say that uh, Lagusis left early. And now Chris Ackman takes ball one. So that turns into a double play, a fly out to right, and then Lagus is left early at second base out on appeal. And the next pitch, well, that's a called strike. Looked like that one might have been low. Ackman with a homer his first time up, came in batting 462. The next one is high and outside. Two balls in a strike. Chris, five doubles, two triples. And in the first inning, hit his third home run, knocked in his 28th RBI of the year. The one and the 2 1 pitch. And a high fly ball to left field. Did Ackman do it again? Going back. Reynolds looking up, and it's gone. Back to back uh, home runs and back to back at bats, anyway, for Chris Ackman. He knocks in uh, his. 29th run of the season on home run number four. And it's Chris Ackman two and Arcadia nothing here in the top of the third inning. Ready, 
Now Reed Austin for the Sabercats. He reached on an error his first time up. He came in batting 425. As the first pitch misses low. Eight doubles, four triples, and a home run for Austin. 25 knocked in. And Austin hits a fly ball. This is out to left center field. This one's got a chance, and this one's gone. Back-to-back -back home runs for the Sabercats in the top of the third inning as Reed Austin hits his second of the season, RBI number 26. It's a two-run third inning, and it's a 3-0 Sabercat lead. Well, you take the runs where you can get them, but uh, Shortstop, unfortunate for Sawara then that they lost that runner or leaving too soon, trying to tag up from second base. Cost the Sabercats a run as Matt Morris takes a pitch low for a ball. Morris came in batting 432, nine doubles. He's got a couple of triples, a team high four home runs, 36 knocked in. Chris Ackman now has tied him for the team home run lead. Fly ball the other way, that one down into right field in foul territory and out of the reach of the right fielder Cornish. The count goes to a ball and a strike. Three nothing Sabercats top of the third inning. Now the one one pitch. And that's a grounder foul third base side. The count now one and two. Pitch low. Two balls and two strikes on Matt Morris. John Nymphs next for the Sabercats. The one and the 2 2. Outside for a ball, and it's 3 and 2. to the line and the pitch. And he bounced it in for ball four. So a two-out walk to Matt Morris, and that will bring up John Nance. Going after the first pitch, and it's a line drive. That's into left center field. Satran over to cut it off. Morris makes his way to third base as Dimps comes into second. And a double for the Sabercat third baseman, John Nemps. That puts two in scoring position with two outs for Dakota Ristat. For Nemps, his Third double of the season. He came in batting 382 and he singled his first time up. So uh, two for two today, pumps up the average sum. Again, his third double. And he's got a triple and 22 RBI. First one to risk that outside for a ball. Four hits, in fact, four extra base hits in the inning for the Sabercats. 2-0 now on Ristad as uh, Drew Butler is not pooling Saguaro here. They've got six base hits, including three home runs. Next one is low. See the plate umpire shaking his head no, saying it's close but low. And it's three balls and no strikes to Ristad. First base open here, so they may go ahead and uh, maybe not pitch uh, or not throw an intentional ball, but... Uh, Maybe not give in here, pitch around a little bit. And the pitch is low for ball four. Ristan with a four pitch walk and he moves to first base and that loads him up for Turner Lace. 
Base batting 317, a double and a homer, 13 RBI, and he bats with the bases loaded in two outs in the top of the third. 3-0 Sabercats and an opportunity to add some more here. And Lace with a fly ball to right field. Playable out there for Cornish, though. And he's under it for the catch, and the side is retired. Sabercats get two runs in the third on back-to-back -back homers from Chris Ackman and Reed Austin. We go to the bottom of the third. Sabercats three, Titans nothing. Hi, Gary. Gary Corners, the leadoff hitter for Arcadia. He takes the first pitch for ball one. One up and in, two balls and no strikes to Cornish. Alex Reynolds and Brendan Satran follow for the Titans in the bottom of the third. The 2-0 pitch. Fouled off, first base side, the count now two and one. Alan Matson, the starter for Saguaro, has gone uh, six and two on the season, an ERA of 2.42. The 2 1 pitch is fouled off. Two balls, two strikes. 55 innings pitched for Mats, and that's a team high. He's allowed 49 hits in those 55 innings, 19 walks, and 51 strikeouts. And a ball out to right field. Playable there for Ackman as that one hung up a bit. And Chris over to make the catch, and there's one down. Now, Alex Reynolds, the number nine hitter for Arcadia. First one of Reynolds over for a strike. for a strike and it's nothing in two. <laughs> Ball grounded foul wide of first base. Three nothing Sabre, Cats, Arcadia batting in the bottom of the third. And the pitch fouled off. Again, the Sabre Cats will be on the road on Tuesday at Fountain Hills to finish up the regular season. And so we're all working to at least be a top eight seed, which would guarantee them a bye in the first round of the state tournament. The tournament will begin a week from Saturday. Another two strike pitch. And that one rolled over and foul third base side. So Reynolds, the number nine hitter, has fouled off three different two-strike pitches to stay alive and uh, just to work on extending the at-bat. The 0-2. And the ball hit uh, pretty well out to left field and just reaching up Ristad with the catch. The ball carried maybe a little bit better than Dakota thought it would and he ended up reaching up. The ball nearly got over his head. But he puts it away for the second out of the inning. Back to the top of the order for Brendan Satran, the leadoff hitter in the Arcadia lineup. Satran batting 433 on the season. Nine doubles, five triples, and a home run. 14 RBIs and 19 stolen bases. There's a ground ball hit sharply to Matt Morris at short. Matt with it. Up and a throw to first base in time. And it's a three up, three down inning for Arcadia after three innings of play. The Titans trail the Sabercats three to nothing. Eight, nine, and one in the order for the Sabercats in the top of the fourth inning. And the first pitch to Brandon Allen is low for ball one. Allen with a fly out to center field his first time up, batting 389 on the season. As that one is low and it's two balls and no strikes. Three doubles, a triple, and seven RBI for Allen in 
limited playing time, injured to start the season, has been back uh, just recently here for Saguaro, and that pitch is over for a strike, and it's two and one. And the two one pitch. Laid off, bounced in there for a ball, three and one. And the 3-1 pitch. And that misses for ball four. So a leadoff walk. Catcher number 19, Shane Stansbury. And with Brandon L on at first base, the batter is Shane Stansbury. Who came in batting 348, hit a second double of the season in the third inning. And it takes low and away for ball one. Shane also with a triple, nine RBI on the season. The 1 0. And that's over for a strike, and it's 1 and 1. 3-0 Saguaro, Sabercats hitting in the top of the fourth inning on the road at Arcadia. Throw to first base and the runner back. Yeah, the pitch fouled out of play on the right side and the count moves to one and two. Question about the count here. Hey. hey, Lisa. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Thanks for letting us use your cage the other day. Oh, wait, oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, with Matt. Here's the set and the pitch. And that's a fastball from Butler inside, and it's two and two. <laughs> Allen aborted first base, nobody out top of the fourth. The 2-2. Two -two. That's bounced in, and the count goes to three balls and two strikes. Butler gave up a couple of walks in the third inning, and now a leadoff walk in the fourth. And a 3-2 count on Stansbury. Butler with a set, the 3-2. And a ground ball to short. Roberts there, and he can't get it clean. That'll be an E6. And another runner aboard. Now two on with nobody out. Back to the top of the order for Zach Gibbons. Katie had some bullpen activity here. And at the top of the order, sometimes that's uh, when you see a coach wanting to make a change. And here comes the time from the dugout. We'll see if Arcadia makes the change or if they stick with Drew Butler or playing in the top of the fourth inning. Saguaro with the first two aboard. They lead Arcadia three to nothing. Well, sure enough, a pitching change for the Titans as Arcadia goes to the bullpen. And the first pitch to Zach Gibbons is uh, outside and low for ball one. Luke Pine, the new pitcher for the Titans. 2-0 on the season with a save. And the 1-0 pitch. Fly ball to right field. And the catch made in foul territory. And Arcadia is saying that another runner left early. And that is, in fact, the case, and so uh, for the second time today, Sawara loses a base runner. That goes as a fly out, and then Allen left early, and so he is 
out at second base for out number two. Coach Dyer out to talk to the base umpire. And not a whole lot you can say or do in that situation, I guess. And so that uh, will stand as, uh, as it was called. So another double play for Arcadia. Now runner at first base with two outs for Chris Ackman. And a throw to first base and a runner back. That's Nick Lagusis running over at first base. And the first one from Pine over for a strike. Throw to first, and again, Lagusa is back. And that went over for a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Strike pitch. That's bounced in, and Lagus is going to go to second. He's going to make a big turn and go all the way around to third base. Two bases on the wild pitch. Aggressive base running there for the Sabercats. Batting in the top of the fourth inning, already two home runs today. Solo shots in the first and the third for Ackman to double his home run total. Catch outside for a ball, two and two. Call the ball, and it's three and two. If Aquin can reach, Reed Austin would be next. The three two pitch, and it lost him. That goes to the backstop. And Nick Lagus is in for another run. Scores on a wild pitch. It was ball four to Chris Ackman. And Lagusis in on a wild pitch. A run in for Sawaro in the fourth inning. They lead four to nothing. First baseman, number 15, Reed Austin. And Chris Ackman at first base with two outs. A run in for the Sabercats. And the batter is Reed Austin. First pitch to Reed Austin is outside for ball one. <laughs> Turn and throw to first base. That one short hops and uh, rolls a little bit, a bit away, but uh, not far enough for Ackman to advance. And a 
Foul ball back and out of play. And the count moves to one and one. Reed Austin reached on it here in the first and hit a second home run of the season, a solo shot in the third as he and Chris Ackman went back to back in the third inning for the Sabercats. Four nothing Saguaro, top of the fourth. The one one. Bounced in and it's two balls and a strike. And the two one. Fouled away. And that's strike two. Two and two on Reed Austin. Saber catch with a run in the first. They scored twice in the third. They've got one across in the fourth with two outs. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ledger, just two base hits for Arcadia in the first three innings. Two out single in the first, a leadoff single in the second, but the runner erased on a double play. And then a three up, three down third inning for the Titans. The 2-2 two -two pitch. That's low for a ball. Three and two. So Ackman will be off of the pitch over at first base. And with the runner going to ground ball. Oh, that eats up the second baseman. McKinnon, no play. And the Sabercats still alive in the fourth inning in E4. Second error of the inning against Arcadia, their third of the ball game. And the batter is Matt Morris. Morris hit into a double play in the first inning. Now back for Sorrell, high for a ball. Matt Morris. And then Morris walked in the third. Down to the backstop, even as they counted one and one. Arcadia has already turned three double plays in four innings. The one one pitch. Inside and low, two and one. Back to second, but no play. And now Morris fouls one away, and it's two balls and two strikes. Now we can give you the line for Acadia starter Drew Butler. He goes three innings plus as he faced the first two hitters of the fourth without recording an out. Gives up six base hits, four runs, three earned, three walks, no strikeouts. And I think I had mentioned uh, Luke Pine, 2-0 and on the season with a save. Butler had good numbers, as I mentioned earlier, Undefeated on the season as a starting or as a pitcher of record, anyway, is that uh, one is fouled to the screen. Butler came in at 4 0, an ERA of 1.83. 23 innings pitch, 14 hits allowed, 10 walks, 23 strikeouts. And for Pine, on in relief for the Titans, just eight and two thirds innings worth of work, 11 hits allowed. He's walked six and struck out eight. Yeah. 
And three wild pitches coming in. He's already uncorked two. And there is a third one. And that'll move the runners up. Second and third with two outs. The third straight hitter that Pine has gone to a full count with. He walked Ackman on a 3-2 pitch. Reed Austin reached on an error on a 3-2 pitch. And now Morris with a ground ball. That's through it into left field for a base hit. One run will score. Another one being waved around. The throw up the line. And it's a two-run single for Matt Morris. And Saguaro adds a couple of runs uh, in the top of the fourth inning, and they lead six to nothing. As that throw went to the plate, Morris got himself into scoring position, so good base running there. And now the batter is John Nemitz. By the way, for Matt Morris, RBI's 37 and 38 on the season as Nymphs fouls the first one away. to second base and a pitch and another one fouled off and we stay at 0-2. Well, they scored that last hit for Morris as a double but uh, I don't think that's correct. If the throw had come in to second base from left field Morris would not have advanced but uh, because the throw went plateward he took off for second base. Should be a two run single. And the two strike pitch. And Nimps does a good job there to just reach for it. Borderline pitch, able to foul it off. A three-run fourth inning for Sawaro has doubled their lead. Team in leading 3-0. Now they're up by six in the top of the fourth inning. Two outs and a runner at second base. Nothing and two to count on Nimps as Pine sets. And the 0-2. And that's a fly ball out to right field and a diving try. The right fielder cannot get to it. It's going to roll all the way to the warning track. As Morris comes around to score, Nimps thought about trying for third base. He slams on the brakes, and he'll take an RBI double. And it's 7 to nothing Sabercats. For Nimps, his third hit of the ball game, his second double. And his first RBI of the game, 23 on the season now. And with Nemes at second, the batter is Dakota Rista. And the first one at the knees for a strike. One up and in, that pops out of the glove, but it stays at second base. And the count goes to one and one on Ristad. Dakota with a successful sacrifice bunt in the second inning. And then he walked in the third. Fine <laughs> with a one one. That one fouled off. And the count goes to a ball and two strikes. Four run, fourth inning for Saguaro gives them a seven to nothing lead. Meanwhile, Alan Madsen just two hits and no runs allowed through three innings and he's getting a quite a bit of a break here as that ball bounced in and going to third base on the play is Nance. 
And the fourth wild pitch of the inning for Luke Pine. And the 2-2. Now well, that one's going to go to the backstop. And that'll bring another run in, another wild pitch. Five wild pitches in the inning for Luke Pine. Yeah, the Sabercats push another run across five in the fourth inning now. They lead eight to nothing. Just two hits in the inning for the Sabercats. Two Arcadia errors. And now a pop-up should get him out of the inning. And that one is caught at second base. And that'll end the inning. But the Sabercats blow it open in the fourth. They score five times. And after three and a half, Saguaro leads Arcadia eight to nothing. And Max Schumann at the plate here fouls the first pitch off. Underway in the bottom of the fourth inning. Two, three, and four in the order for the Titans. Schumann, McKinnon, and Butler. Next one misses for a ball, and it's one and one. Another one fouled off. A ball and two strikes to count. Schumann batting 4-10 on the season, 12 doubles, four homers, and 27 RBI. Popped out to Reed Austin his first time up. The pitch is high, and it's two and two. Yeah, the two-two pitch. And a swing and a miss. The ball uh, dropped there, but Stansbury will throw to first base. So a strikeout, two-three put out. And uh, Schumann the first down of the fourth inning. Strikeout number three for Alan Madsen. And now he faces Caleb McKinnon. And McKinnon hits one pretty well out to left center field. That one's got a chance to get out. Gibbons gives chase, and it leaves the yard. A solo shot for Caleb McKinnon. And Arcadia is on the board in the bottom of the fourth inning. And McKinnon was batting 378, five doubles and a homer, and 22 RBI. That was coming into the ball game. He singled in the first, and now he's got a home run, his second of the year, here in the fourth. Well, nothing really hurt there if you're a SaberCat fan. You're going to give up a home run. You want to do it with the bases empty. And so the solo homer makes it 8-1. And Drew Butler takes strike one from Alan Manson. The next one misses for a ball, and it's one and one. Butler with lofty numbers, 479 batting average, 11 doubles, and four home runs. And a pitch, a strike, and it's one and two. 33 RBI for Butler, and uh, that leads the club. Reaches at that one and fouls it away. And the count stays a ball and two strikes. One out, bases empty, a run in for Arcadia on a solo homer from Caleb McKinnon. The one-two pitch. And a breaking ball, and that's a swing and a miss. And Butler strikes out for the second time today. And with two away, it brings up Michael Roberts. Shortstop, number nine, Michael Roberts. Roberts had a base hit his first time up. Batting 262 entering today's play with four doubles and 10 RBI. First one is inside for ball one. The 1 0 pitch fouled off at the plate. It's one and one. Yeah. 
Saguaro still without Austin Anderson. As the next pitch is low, two and one. And the nice thing about it for the Sabercats, they'll play Tuesday on the road at Fountain Hills, and then they should be off until the following Tuesday to open the second round of the Division II Baseball State Tournament. And they should get a bye and be off uh, next Saturday, which is the first round. Three and one, the count on Roberts. Two outs and the base is empty in the three-one pitch. And that's off the handle of the bat. Rolled right back to Matz, and he'll flip it underhand, and that'll do it. Arcadia gets a run on a solo homer from Kayla McKinnon after four innings of play from Arcadia. Titans on the board, but they trail Saguaro 8-1. to one. And we move to the fifth inning of play at Arcadia High School. And a first pitch swing, and that ball into left field for Turner Lace, a leadoff single. Lease with his first base hit of the ball game. And the batter is Brandon Allen. And that's a fly ball into shallow right field. The catch made for the first down. So Allen flies out. New pitcher in the ball game for Arcadia Titans. Back to the bullpen again as Alex Reynolds is on to throw the fifth inning. Now batting catcher number 19, Shane Stansbury. Now Shane Stansbury with one on and one out, top of the fifth. And Shane fouls the first one away for strike one. Stansbury doubled in the second, reached on an error in the fourth. Actually doubled in the third, I beg your pardon. The one strike pitch. And that's over. And at the knees for a strike, and it's 0-2. The two strike pitch. Curveball pretty close. Called a ball, and uh, you see the catcher, Schumann, look back at the plate umpire. Lace with the lead at first base. Reynolds checks him. And the 1 2 pitch. And Lace able to lay off. Ball bounced in there, and it's 2 and 2. Reynolds 1-0 on the season, a 1.11 ERA, only six and a third innings pitch, seven hits allowed, two uh, walks, four strikeouts. Oh, and in that one, a called third strike. And that one appeared to be out of the strike zone, but uh, yeah, I don't want to say a makeup call because I don't think that's probably what it was, but... Uh, for sure, we saw Schumann look back on a breaking ball that he thought was over for a strike earlier in the at-bat. And then uh, not a real exaggerated call from the plate umpire there to uh, ring up Stansbury on strikes. Zach Gibbons at the plate now with the runner at first and two away. Zach's hit the ball to right field all three times up. Hit a pretty sharp liner to right in the first inning and then a couple of fly balls, one in the third, one in the fourth. 2-0 the count on Gibbons. Lay still aboard at first after singling to start the inning. The 2-0 pitch. And that's a one hopper to short. They'll go the short way to second to retire the side. Sabercats fail to score in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And Sawara leads Arcadia by a score of 8-1. Six, seven, and eight in the order in the bottom of the fifth inning. And Michael Scannell going after the first pitch. And a line drive that's into left field for a base hit. (laughs) 
So a leadoff single for the Titans in the bottom of the fifth inning. Third base at number eight. Base Preston at number McClain. four on the day. And the batter is Preston McLean. McLean with a fly ball out to right field his first time up. And a swing and a miss for strike one. Soaro with a big five-run fourth inning to open things up here on the road at Arcadia. Mountain will throw it over to first base a couple of times now, but the runner Scannell is back. Just a couple of steals on the year for Scannell at first base. Fastball tails away. Set and check of the runner at first base in the pitch. And this one fouled off. And the count goes to one and two. Lead off hitter aboard in the bottom of the fifth inning. Arcadia trailing Solaro by a score of eight to one. The one two instead of throw to first base. And the one-two pitch. And a breaking ball, and that's hit well out to left field. That's going to center Estad back to the fence. He looks up, and this one leaves the yard for the second inning in a row. A home run for Arcadia. This one a two-run home run from Preston McLean. His first home run of the season. And a two-run home run makes it 8-3. to three. Two-run home run. Now Gary Cornish will try to keep it going for the Titans. In the bottom of the fifth. Cornish with a fly out to right field his first time up. And going after the first pitch here, hits a ball out to center field, but St. Gibbons there for the catch. And there's one away. I'll bring up Alex Reynolds for the Titans. He had a fly ball out to Ristad in left field his first time up. Alex Reynolds. First one a little bit low for a ball. Next one goes to the backstop. Next one on the way, that's a check swing, and uh, Reynolds did go around. Matson right back to work in the pitch. Misses for a ball, and it's two and two. Brendan Satra next for Arcadia, the two-two pitch. And a breaking ball swung on and missed, and a strikeout. That is the second out of the inning as Reynolds is down on strikes. Strikeout number five for Allen Madsen. And now he will go after Brendan Satran. Now Benny for Acadia, number seven, Brendan Satran. First one, a fastball up high for ball one. 
Santran 0 for 2, a strikeout in the first, a ground out in the third. And he fouls this one back and it'll get out of play. Eight three Sabre Cats, Titans batting in the bottom of the fifth. Yes, this regular season is winding down. Saguaro hoping to go into the playoffs on a hot streak. The one one, and that's lifted out to center field and right at the warning track. Gibbons with the catch to retire the side. Another deep fly ball, but this one stays in the yard and. Gibbons puts it away, and that'll end the fifth inning. Arcadia gets a couple of runs on two hits, and after five innings of play, Arcadia trails Solano by a score of 8-3. to three. Two, three, and four in the order in the top of the sixth inning for Solano. And Chris Ackman leading things off, and the first one bounced in there for ball one. Pitch. That's low. Ackman with a couple of home runs and a walk in three trips. And there's a tomahawk shot down the left field line. That's going to get picked up before it gets to the track. Ackman is going to try for second base, and he will be in as the throw was cut off. So a leadoff double in the sixth inning for the Sabercats. And the batter is Reed Austin. First baseman, number 15, Reed Austin. Austin with a homer in three at-bats. He's reached all three times, the other two times by error as the breaking ball misses for ball one. Pitch over the outside corner, a strike, and it's one and one. Reynolds looks back and now delivers the one one, and that's a fly ball. That's hit well out to left center field, and that one's off the fence. Ackman will come around third to score. Austin on his way to second base. It's an RBI double for Reed Austin. And Sawaro answers back with a run in the top of the sixth inning, and they go up by a score of 9-3. to three. Matt Morris, who had a two-run single his last time up, going after the first pitch, and it's a ground ball scooped up at third by McLean, and his throw on the money to first base. Austin has to stay at second, so a ground out. And it'll bring up John Nitz. A run in for the Sabercats here in the sixth inning on back-to-back -back doubles from Chris Ackman and Reed Austin. And now John Nimps, who's working on a three-for-three three today. A single in the second, a double in the third, an RBI double, and a run in the fourth. And that ball bounced in there, and moving to third is Reed Austin. right center and a running catch in right field. Tagging is Austin. The throw is cut off. It's late and it's a sacrifice fly and an RBI for John Nitz. It's 
So giving up the extra base costs Arcadia a run as Austin scores on Nips' sack fly for John is 24th RBI of the season. And now Dakota Ristad will try to get it started again for Sawaro with uh, the bases empty. Two runs in, though. Yeah, Sawaro leads 10-3. See the Titans appealed over there to third base, but uh, Austin did not leave early as the breaking ball is over for a strike. <laughs> and now uh, quickly 0-2 on Dakota Ristat. Two outs, bases empty, two runs in for the Sabercats in the top of the sixth. Two bounced in there for a ball. One and two. Back to the wine of the one-two pitch. Foul away on the right side. Ristad trying to get it started again with two outs here. If he reaches, Turner Lace will bat in the Sabercat sixth. One bounced in there for a ball. And the next one on the way. Down the left field line, but just foul. They're going low and away, and now the count runs full. for ball four. Good at bat there for Ristan after falling behind early in the count. And works the walk against Reynolds. And that does bring Turner Lace to the plate here in the sixth. Base hit his last time up one for three today. Runner goes the pitch high, the throw down to second base is Lane. Ristad steals second. is high. Three balls and no strikes on Turner Lynch. Wrist at at second with two outs, two runs in for Sawaro in the sixth. They lead it 10 to three. Well, that's a called strike. It's three and one. Fly ball out to center field, kind of more into left center, I guess, with the catch made. 
And that retires the side. Sabercats add two in the top of the six on a couple of base hits. After five and a half, it's Saguaro 10 and Arcadia 3. Sabercats go to the bullpen as we move to the bottom of the sixth. Max Schumann at the plate with a swing and a miss. As Nick Maservi is on to pitch for Saguaro. The 0-1 is fouled off. Nothing in two on Schumann, a pop out and a strikeout in two at bats. And the 0-2. Now it's fouled back to the screen. Still nothing in two. McKinnon and Butler scheduled to follow for the Titans in the bottom of the sixth. Just misses away. One ball and two strikes. And a fly ball. That's uh, down into left center field and a leadoff base hit for Max Schumann. Madsen, five innings of work for the Sabercats, allowed just uh, five base hits, three runs all earned, Courtesy and had five strikeouts. Tyler Murphy running at first base for the catcher Schumann as Kayla McKinnon steps in. First one over four strength. And a line drive caught by Reed Austin and doubling up the runner at first base. That may have been in foul territory, but Austin catches the line drive and uh, able to tap the bag. is the base runner. And now David Forker bats for the first time and takes strike one. Swing and a miss and it's 0-2. And a breaking ball over a called third strike, and that ends the sixth inning. Arcadia leadoff hit, but a double play races the runner. We go to the seventh, Saguaro uh, 10 and Arcadia 3. David Forker on to pitch in the seventh inning. Nick Lagusa's pinch hits for the Sabercats. Took the first one for a strike. And one takes the second one for a strike. And a swing and a miss. So a strike out there of Nick Lagusa's. And there's one away. And the 
Shane Stansbury. Now batting catcher number 19, Shane Stansbury. First one over for a strike. Stansbury shortens the bunt, took the pitch a little bit low, one and one. Ball fouled off, and the count one and two. Saber Cats with a run in the first, two in the third. They scored five times in the fourth inning and added two in the sixth. Arcadia run in the fourth and two in the fifth, and that's uh, where we're at here in the top of the seventh inning, a 10-3 Sabercat lead. The 1-2. Stansbury spoils that one, fouls it off on the first base side. Down the right field line. Yep, that's going to end up foul. And a swing and a miss, and Stansbury out on strike. So David Forker has come on and. Back-to-back uh, -back strikeouts in the seventh. Alrighty. And now will face the top of the order as Zach Gibbons makes his way to the plate. Center fielder, number three, Zach Gibbons. 